Erica Stanish has been looking into how the air quality has been affecting local families and what alternatives they're able to find to keep their kids entertained while indoors. Erica. Yeah, but well you can see that the air quality doesn't look any better compared to yesterday. In fact, as Kristen mentioned, it's worse and not really what you want to see in the middle of summer. And since it's unhealthy to be outside, some parents are finding ways to move the fun indoors. The entire state of Pennsylvania under a code red air quality alert with some areas in the purple zone. Our Sky I-2 drone capturing some of the haze Thursday as smoke continues to push into the area from Canada. Never experienced anything like this before. This family spinning around inside the Urban Air Adventure Park is visiting from Maryland. They found a fun backup plan to their original vacation plans due to the air. And we were supposed to be doing some outdoor activity, but with the air quality, we had to find something different to do. The trampoline park has seen numbers skyrocket as families search for safe alternatives to keep their kids busy on these smoky summer days. It's always it's a nice alternative whenever you know you have to deal with dangerous conditions outside, you know, or just inclement weather. Nearly every family inside the Adventure Park Thursday says they came to keep their kids from being outside and says they have no plans to change that until the air quality improves. With the way the numbers are, probably not. We live on a couple acres, so we're always outside, you know, swimming or doing other things. So it was, um, you know, a, a nice day otherwise. So we would have been outside more today if it wasn't for the, the air quality. The DEP says while the air remains in the red zone, everyone should limit time outdoors. And what better way to beat the heat than spending it in the AC? Now I can tell you we were driving back into the city on the Parkway East heading west, and you always have that skyline shot, and it always is so beautiful. Well, today you could not see it. I mean, it's just barely there. That is how thick this haze is in the city, and the DEP says we likely won't see much relief until Saturday. Reporting live, Erica Stanish, KDKA-TV News.